Ah, welcome back. <laughs> oh, Master. I wonder what kind of dream we'll have tonight. <laughs> well, let's go together. Seek you. Hello, Seiku here. Um, I was running around through YouTube the other day, basically seeing some ASMRs and getting, you know, uh, educated on how better I can be, on how I can become better. And I went on this not-so-well-known YouTube ASMR channel named Usagi Dotto, and I found a link to an ASMR Yandere roleplay challenge. So, so, uh, thank you, Usagi Dotto, for posting the link to the thingy. Uh, and I will go for it. I will go for it. So, let's see how far I can go with this Yandere challenge. <laughs> Here I go. Voice drama. When I reunited with a friend who was studying abroad, he had turned into a Yandere. And before I knew it, I found myself locked up. N that's the title. That's the title. Uh, whoever the author is, thank you so much for writing this one. Hmm. Good morning. I see you're finally awake. The weather's all terrible and rainy outside. But at least that gives us an excuse to stay home today. Huh? You want to know where you are? <laughs> you're in my room, of course. You got tired and collapsed, so I put you down on my bed. How is it? I've prepared just the finest mattress just for you. Do you like it? <laughs> You're funny. <sighs> oh, you were awakened by my cursing, huh? Yeah, curse my parents. Right when I come back from studying abroad, Dad's gone working alone in the countryside, and Mom's traveling abroad with some colleagues of hers. I didn't lose my spare key back there, so at least Dad was fortunate. But, hey, don't you think it's really heartless of them to just leave me alone like that? Ah, <sighs> some parents, huh? Well, on the flip side, it's exactly because they aren't home that we can be alone together like this. Ah, <sighs> I'm so glad that I can be here close to you, you know. That adorable, drowsy face. I could lose my gaze forever in it. You make me want to embrace you right now. And kiss every bit of your skin. Hmm. <laughs> eh? What happened yesterday? Yeah, I guess you wouldn't remember. We finally reunited after a long time, and we spent the whole day happily together. Together we talked, together we ate lunch, together in my room. I was so elated that I could see you again. <laughs> You're happy to see me too, right? <laughs> What's wrong? I just kissed you on the cheek. Huh? That scared looking face. You can't move. <laughs> right now, underneath that blanket, I've wrapped you tight with the rope. See? <laughs> oh, and the drug from yesterday should still be in your system. Hmm. Ah, uh, such an adorable face. That utterly confused look. Yesterday, I've shown you that soda I brought back home to Japan, haven't I? You know, the one that tastes weird. Ramune! So, is it starting to remember yet? That's more or less when your memory cut off, isn't it? That, that taste wasn't the taste of the soda at all. It was from a drug that numbs your nerves and makes you suggestible to my voice. Hmm. Ah. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. So, the soda really isn't all that fault at all. Hmm, the drug is. Ah, uh, Seikyukun, what's going on? The sleepy voice in which you ask that, ah, uh, just remembering gives me the shivers. I want the charm in you. All to myself. Those round, cute eyes, that clear, smooth skin. Those cushiony lips, those delicate fingers, those childish movements, that flowery smile, that 
innocent personality and that chirping voice. It's like an angel descended from heaven to become a human child. I've been enamored by everything about you. And yesterday, yesterday, I resolved. You're too pure for this ugly world. And so, no matter what may happen, no matter what I have to do, I'll watch over you for all eternity. Ah, oh, my little angel, I love you. Ah, uh, <laughs> that's right. That's why you're here, right with me, lying there in front of me and looking up at me with beady eyes. Above you, I'm here gazing down at you, positioning myself like I just pushed you onto the bed. In that kind of circumstance, you can't expect me to hold back my inhibitions, can you? That the neck, it makes me want to kiss it. Hey, I can't hold back anymore. You're even more delicious than I'd ever imagined. Ah, more, more, more. Can you give me all of you? First from your mouth. The outside world? What does it matter? Even if modern society had disappeared without a trace yesterday, our small world wouldn't be any different. After all, you can't leave now. Well, one thing I can say is, everyone out there believes that we both died in the fire yesterday. Your friends and family, if you suddenly disappeared, they'd be hell-bent on finding where you went, wouldn't they? But once they believe that you died, they'll give up really easily. That's convenient for both of us, don't you think? I knew bringing a letter there was a great idea. Nobody noticed the tube of gasoline I hid under my pants. By noon, the whole building had trails of this stuff all over. After all, humans panic and lose themselves so painfully easily. That was a lot of fun. Did you want to join in? Well, I still had my doubts. So yesterday, I took your phone away and looked through all your social media, making sure everyone was deluded into thinking we died. Then, as I hoped it would work, they were completely tricked. I saw at least three different people dedicate a post to you. Nah. <laughs> huh? What's with that look on your face? You don't understand? You don't want it. I don't get it. Are you thinking of... Are you thinking of... going against me? You look like you're staring at some kind of monster. Oh, if I recall, the human body can be so fragile and easy to conquer sometimes. If you run away, if you try to run away, I could cut your Achilles heel. If you try to lash out against me, I could dislocate your shoulders. Or, I could tie your forearms together behind your back. Well, if you keep on resisting, I could just cut your limbs off. I'll take care of everything for you, so they won't be necessary, will they? Going to the toilet, eating food, changing clothes, you can leave everything to me, you know? Well, what should we do today? What? Plans? A date? A date. I get it. I, I get it. The, the chat that I found on your phone, that was someone you called boyfriend. Hey. 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 Is he... Is he better than me? Does he think of you more than I do? Does he... Does he know you better than I do? Do you think he loves you deeper than I love you? That's just impossible. No. No. 
If you touch anyone else, your perfect skin will be ruined. If you listen to anyone else, you'll damage your delicate ears. If you think about anyone else, your brain is going to go bad. You have to look at me, only at me, touch only me, talk only to me, think only on me. I'm the only one who truly loves you. I'm the only one who truly, truly, truly loves you. Ah, that's right. I just thought of something. I could still see his profile. Later, I can lure him over here and personally dispose of him. <laughs> it's a brilliant idea. I can just eliminate whoever comes in our way. Then your world will only be me. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. G going crazy? It, it feels so goddamn good. This is perfect. <laughs> Are you scared? Are you scared? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Are you scared? I'm sorry. I'm so, so, so sorry. But it's really your fault saying things like that. Hey, 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 hey. You'll never even think of doing things I don't want you to, will you? You won't. To anyone but me, right? You won't think of anybody but me, right? You won't connect with anybody but me, right? Because if you do, because if you do, you'll be tainted. And I couldn't stand the thought of my precious angel tainting. Not at all, not at all, not at all, not at all. We don't need a tainted angel in this world. So if you do anything to dirty yourself, I'll kill you. I'll kill you. <laughs> that, that face, that face, that face. I love to see your face, especially that face when you laugh joyfully, when you pout discontentedly, and like that when you wet the pillow squirming in fear. Hey, let's be together forever. I can take you back somewhere else. Maybe we can get a place together. Some are secluded and quiet and lock you up in the apartment I rent or I could quit college or altogether. Dedicating my life to quietly living alone with you. I can take you back with me and lock you up in the apartment that I rent. Or I could quit college altogether. Dedicating my life to quietly living alone with you. When I'm out of the house, I'll tie you up under the blanket like this. I'll give you your very own blindfold so you won't see anything else but me. I'll play with you recordings of my voice throughout the whole day so you won't think of anyone else. Even if you manage to taint yourself, I'll give you an extra dose of that drug. <laughs> Just thinking about it makes my heart race. It'll be the best every day. Just me and you. Today. Tomorrow. A week later. A month later. A year later. Ten years later. Twenty years later. Thirty. Forty. Fifty. Until we both die. No. No. Even when we die. I'll be with you. 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 Forever. And ever. My love. My love, can you feel it yet? My love all around you. My love surrounding you. Mm. I love you so much. <laughs> Together forever. <laughs>